Well, this is another day, and I've uh, started the disassembly of the Roadmaster. I've got it in another section of the garage. Turned it over. I'm going to pull off the front wheel. I pulled the battery pack off of it. Pretty simple. It's uh, only put has one plug in here. This is to charge it. This is uh, called an SLA battery, sealed lead acid. Uh, it weighs a good 30 pounds at least, I would think. Uh, it's like a car battery. Uh, and it has Velcro straps. And you just kind of strap it <coughs> to your rack on back to hold it in place. Straps work pretty good. Um, it's the cheapest battery type that you can get for this kind of setup. And because of that, it's, it's probably the least efficient. Um, the only problem with it is, is you have to keep it charged up. You can't leave it in a state of discharge for several hours. Uh, if it does, it'll ruin the battery. So as soon as I go out for a run, when I come back, I immediately plug in the charger. This is the charger here. Just plug it into a 110 uh, power socket and just plugs into here. And uh, probably takes about four hours for a full charge. I pulled the uh, power wheel off of the uh, Roadmaster, uh, as you can see. And I've got it in here. Put it on the uh, new fork set up on the uh, Giant. It's not bolted down. I just wanted to make sure that uh, it would actually work. You see the wire coming out of the wheel. And that has to be on the uh, left side of the bike, opposite your uh, crank sprockets. And it has to be at the bottom of the uh, uh, forks. I'm going to, uh, this is a pretty wide knobby tire and uh, it was, uh, it came with the, uh, with the Roadmaster and it kind of looked really nice on it. It'll switch to a narrower tire, be less uh, friction, there'll be less rubber meeting the road. Uh, I've got a tire over here somewhere that Ought to work pretty good. Yeah, this one here. It was originally on the front wheel of the Giant, so uh, uh, that's the next thing I got to do is break that tire down, put a new one on. Got the uh, tire and tube off of the uh, power wheel. This is how the, the wheel comes in the kit, like this. And I went out and uh, I wash the uh, tire that I want to put on it. It's not in quite as good a shape as I hoped. It's got some cracking on the, I don't know if you can see that or not, some cracking on the walls, but it'll do for the time being until I can afford to purchase a new tire. Turns out that that uh, tire was even worse than I thought. I mounted it on the wheel and inflated it and the threads was showing through on the sidewalls, so it went to the junk pile. I have to do a repair on this handmade bike on the rear uh, rim. It's bashed in and it thumps when you ride it, so uh, I have brand new tires on this one, so I decided, well, I'll just pull the new tire off the back and mount it onto the uh, electric rim. So here it is on the electric rim, brand new tire, and the next thing that I have to do is to mount it onto the uh, giant mountain bike. I've got the uh, electric power wheel mounted on the uh, giant bike, as you can see, sitting on a 
back end sitting on a piece of wood and I've got the uh, road map sitting here with the uh, front wheel off and uh, sitting on a block of wood the uh, Springer parts are sitting on the block of wood and I can start pulling parts off of this uh, Roadmaster and transferring them to the Butte Butte Giant. And I'm going to have to pull this crank set down here on the Butte and repack the bearings and knock the rust off of the sprockets. I'll have to clean these derailers up a bit. But I got to wait till I get the seat put on it. So you can turn it upside down with the seat and the handlebars, and it'll sit. You can work on it, but without the handlebars and the seat, it just kind of tips over. I had to get the tread right. You have to get the tread going in the right direction on these things. Half, half the time I forget that, and I have to uh, <laughs> redo it. Usually when I haven't changed a tire in a while, if I'm changing a bunch of tires, and I remember to check it before I inflate it. But I haven't changed one in a while, so... I had to pull this one again when I noticed I had the tread going backwards. Some tires have arrows on them to tell you which way to go, but I just kind of check the tread. Well, I've uh, put the rim back in the uh, vise and finished painting it. It's not the best job I've ever done, but it's a cruddy rim to begin with. At least it's all one color now instead of a bunch of rust. And I've pulled off the uh, seat and the uh, stem off of the Roadmaster. Have them over here on the bench. Uh, this one's off the Roadmaster. It's pretty. It's chrome, but it's heavy. This one is the off of the Giant. It's much lighter. It's aluminum. I'm going to try to clean it up and use it. I'm going to run the same seat. It's a heavy seat, but. The spring action works pretty good. That's off an old 10-speed I was riding a couple of years ago. And uh, I don't have a lot of padding on my rear end, so if the seat is giving me troubles, it cuts right into the bone. So this one I found is a good, uh, good seat. That aluminum stem, seat stem, cleaned up pretty good with uh, steel wool and sandpaper. It's not cherry, but... Uh, it's got a lot of nicks in it and that, but at least it's not covered with crud like it was, so it'll do. I've moved the uh, Roadmaster outside and I've dropped the uh, handlebar stem down a bit. I'm going to pull off all this stuff on the handlebars here next. I pulled the uh, throttle control off the uh, Roadmaster and the harness, wiring harness. Go to the front wheel and the uh, system uh, control box off. So all that's left on the Roadmaster that I need is uh, this handlebar stem and the uh, basket. When I get those off, I'm finished with it. I'll put it into the shed and leave it for later. Well, that's the end of the Roadmaster. I may end up pulling that chain off of there, but that's about it. It'll be uh, in a new reincarnation. It'll be a, a low-end mountain bike. Maybe I'll try and sell it, or maybe I'll keep it to ride on the beach. The beach is just a block away, and I don't like to take my good bikes down there. Sand screws up the gears and everything, and I certainly won't take the electric on it. So anyways, bye-bye, um, Roadmaster.